concepts, uh, sort of definitions uh, in uh, pharmacology. So we start off with uh, uh, the first one, uh, clinical pharmacology. I left this uh, definition long back. I should have done it uh, before. Anyway, so clinical pharmacology is different from uh, the normal pharmacology. Pharmacology has uh, various aspects, the experimental pharmacology, then the pure pharmacology, then it goes on to clinical pharmacology and so on. So clinical pharmacology, okay, it's something when you try to uh, give drugs to human beings. So when pharmacology deals with human beings, when you give drugs to human beings, you see for the effects, you see for the side effects. You want to test for the efficacy, safety profile of the drugs in human beings, then it becomes a clinical pharmacology. I, I wanted to bring this up to you now. The reason being, uh, we will be starting uh, a few sessions on uh, clinical research. So, before starting those sessions, I would like you to know about clinical pharmacology because it all deals uh, at the end with the research in human beings about testing trials, efficacy and so on. So clinical pharmacology, okay, so it's uh, nothing but it's testing of drugs in human beings for various aspects whether kinetics or dynamics, okay. So that is one thing. Next thing that we uh, need to know is uh, about toxicology. Uh, you will often find uh, you know, departments uh, which are pharmacology and toxicology. So, what do you mean after all by toxicology? It, it's, it's nothing but the study of poisons and to see their effects on human beings. So, uh, it's study of poisons. So, there are so many poisons uh, in this world. In fact, drugs are, can also act as poisons if they are not rationally given beyond certain doses and so on. So, study of all those poisonous substances which are harmful uh, to life and human beings then comes under the part of toxicology. Uh, it's treated as a part and parcel of pharmacology because it closely relates because we uh, in clinical settings get individuals who uh, usually you know kind of uh, poisoning cases. Uh, might be a suicidal poison or homicidal poison, whatever might be the reasons, but at the end of the day, we need to know uh, antidote for that poison, need to know about treatment of that poison, first of all, that identification of um, uh, the poison the person has taken in forensic purposes also and so on. So, uh, these all things then come under toxicology. So, it's study of poisons and that's what is toxicology. Uh, the last thing is, um, Many people do ask me about, uh, there is a bit of confusion between uh, pharmacy and uh, pharmacology. You know? So we need to know and differentiate between pharmacy and pharmacology. They are two separate things. Of course, pharmacology is study of drugs. Uh, I do agree with that. But pharmacy in turn has something to do with uh, kind of compounding, so making of the drugs. Uh, dispensing the drugs to individuals, giving them information about how the drug should be taken and so on. So sort of patient education uh, for the drugs um, at the orders of the physician and attend also some kind of packaging for the drugs and so on. So it deals with more of industry processes associated with production of drugs. So it's, it's, a, it, it's, it's of course I should say pharmacology is a part of uh, in the broader terms, it relates to pharmacy, but uh, on an average, if you see a pharmacist working and you see a doctor prescribing a medication, these are two separate things. The two separate things should not be mixed with each other. The pharmacy is more of uh, what I can say is the, uh, is the delivery process of the drugs, manufacturing and the delivery process of drugs. So that was my short quick analysis um, about these three uh, concepts uh, which I left out early uh, in my sessions. I hope you got whatever I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. Do subscribe to my channel.